I wonder if you're aware of the fact that our conversation has so far lasted 13 hours. I'm so sorry. I had no idea. My dear young colleague, please don't apologize. It's our first meeting. We had a great deal to say to one another. And unless I'm much mistaken, we always will. After more dates, Freud designates Jung as his number one student and says that he will succeed Freud to carry the future of psychoanalysis. Jung is initially enthusiastic about it, but gradually begins to question Freud's dogmatic attitude. Jung says, Freud says sexual desire is the cause of everything, but isn't it strange that that's the only cause? Jung complains to his wife and Sabina, don't you think there's more to our mind than sexual desires? Freud too begins to complain about Jung. He says, I'm not saying you shouldn't study occult phenomenon, but don't mix it with psychoanalysis. What's going on between them? The movie doesn't really explain what they're talking about, so I'm going to do it here. First, Freud. Freud's theory positions sexual desire as the basic human motivation. The reason for this is that Freud read Darwin's theory of evolution. Darwin was a generation before Freud. Freud's generation like Nietzsche and Dostoevsky were hit directly by Darwin's theory of evolution. Darwin changed biology forever, and Freud believed that the purpose of all animals is reproduction, and that the sexual desire is the motivation. This applied to humans too. Freud believed that the sexual desire controlled human mind. Why was Freud so obsessed with sexual desire? It was because he believed it was scientific. Freud repeatedly reminds Jung that psychoanalysis must remain scientific.